Well, welcome. In this mini course, we are going to talk about how to overcome speech anxiety. And this is a topic um, that is specifically for students who are shy. So let's begin, shall we? You're first going to be completing a shyness questionnaire. And this is going to help you to determine your level of shyness. And so take a look at this page. How shy are you? And you're going to answer these questions based on one, that you strongly disagree, or two, you disagree, or three, you're in the middle, you're neutral, or four, you agree, or five, you strongly agree. So if we take the first question, I feel tense when I'm with people I don't know. Is it one, that you don't feel tense at all? Is it two, uh, that you're, you know, you, you're, you're a little tense, but not so much. Is it three? You could go either way. Is it four? Yes. Yes. I am tense when I'm with people. Or is it five? Yes. I am extremely tense when I am with people that I don't know. And so that's how you'd answer that question. Keep on going through the questionnaire until you're finished with it. And as you can see, there are 13 questions and then you'll score it. Once you score it, it, we now discuss what level of shyness you are. So if you are between a 34 to a 49, then you're somewhat shy. But if you score over 50, then you are, you could be a, a intensely shy person. If you score below 34, then depending on how low you sco score, then you're probably not an extremely shy person. In either case, because I, through my own training uh, programs through the years, have found that even people who score way below 34 can still have fear of public speaking. So today we're going to concentrate on those of you that score in the 49 to 60 range. So we do know that when you score over 50, you can be considered to be an extremely shy person. And in cases like that, public speaking can make you very anxious. If your anxiety is something that you're not able to overcome by going to classes or doing training sessions, or uh, just really concentrating on trying to get better. If it's not working and you score in that very high range, then it might be an opportunity for you to think about um, either going to psychotherapy or seeking a physician. Now, I am not a physician. I'm not offering you medical advice. What I am saying is all the experts and the experts say, all the textbooks and the experts say that when you score pretty high in that 50, especially in over 65, then public speaking can cause you deep anxiety. And if you want to overcome that to be a successful, effective public speaker, that means that you can go out and do the interview and get the job or get the promotion or do the sales pitch or do your business pitch. If that's what you want to do, then you're going to have to seek whatever help it is that gets you to that level. So I'm speaking mainly to those who are in the, you know, like in the late thirties up to about the 50 range. And so here is the advice that's given to you in terms of how to get ready for a speech and what to do on the day 
of the speech. Please don't gloss these over. Read them to yourself one by one because they're going to help you. The one piece of advice I would give you if you are an anxious, shy person is that when it comes to public speaking or going for an interview, make sure it's something that is a topic that's very important to you. Or if you're going for a job, make sure that that job is a job that you really think you can do well at. And you've got this, this passion, this need, this want for it. Because what happens when you have a passion for something, when you feel like this is something that you're very interested in, the fear goes away when you start to speak because you're more interested in the topic than the individuals that you're speaking with. And so the fear then dissipates. Now, when giving a speech, it is important that you understand that if you're shy, you must prepare, 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 prepare. I would say you want to practice at least five to six times. You want to do your research. You want to practice in front of a friend, somebody who is going to give you honest feedback. And if you don't have that friend, then record your speech and play it back to yourself. Listen for crutch words, listen for monotone. Many folks who are introverted also tend to speak in a monotone voice like this because they have a fear of expressing themselves or maybe showing emotion. So they kind of speak with one tone. And so you are going to have to force yourself to moderate and fluctuate your tone. So if you're a shy person, you too can overcome your fear of public speaking follow the guidelines in this little mini book, workbook, and they should help you to develop the skills that you need to become an effective public speaker. I'll see you in the next lesson. Take care.